in today's video I'll be reviewing Hugo Boss Bottled Elixir and this is a new fragrance that came in 2023 and to be honest I wasn't planning to buy this fragrance this year I was planning to buy it next year like next winter but to be honest um, I was in the shop and they convinced me to buy this fragrance because they had like gifts from for the people who buys from Hugo Boss or Burberry so I ended up winning um, this bag they had many gifts like um, even iPhone and iPad so they convinced me to buy this fragrance and unfortunately I bought it, I fell in this trap so I bought it for $140 and the price is considered a little bit expensive I never expected myself to, to pay this amount for Hugo Boss I don't feel like they are a huge designer fragrance although they are but I feel like their quality doesn't deserve that much money this is a Hugo Boss bottled elixir it's a new fragrance as I said, it's, it came in 2023 so it's still new and let me tell you the notes now before I unbox it and review it in front of you so the top notes are frankincense, cardamom and the middle notes are patchouli, vetiver and the base notes are labdanum and cedar and by the way the notes are even written here on, on the bottle itself so they wrote the top notes incense and the heart notes are vetiver essence and the base notes are cedar wood they just wrote like three notes on the official box and the bottle looks uh, like eh, decent same as any uh, box from Hugo Boss so let's unbox it and see how it smells like yeah, the box looks nice looks okay the patch code is 3172 let's spray and see damn the smell is so good it smells like wood like patchouli like cardamom like incense the smell is really heavy really dark but it smells uh, really good although I don't like um, these type of smells but it smells really great I can smell wood I don't know why although they didn't, con uh, they didn't say it in the notes but that's what to, uh, what to expect from this fragrance on like heavy incense smell cardamom wood it's a winter fragrance for sure uh, it's also similar to Dior Sauvage Elixir a little bit but this one is more um, smelling good to be honest so now I will stop the video for some time and come back and I will tell you my honest review about this fragrance what's up so I'm back after like two weeks and to be honest this fragrance is amazing it's a compliment getter the projection is really strong it projects around like two meters so be careful um, the longevity is really good it's like 12 hours on your skin on the clothes it will stay for uh, days and it projects on the clothes so whenever like you lift your jacket you will smell the fragrance if you spray it on your jacket the smell is really great it smells so amazing you feel like the ingredients are natural um, expensive I feel like a Hugo Boss invested a lot of time in this fragrance um, it's similar to Dior Sauvage Elixir I will not say no but your Sauvage Elixir is more annoying I feel um, they have like a sweet note like very strong sweet note in the opening but these people no they don't have it this one smells more like a red tobacco although they didn't mention it in the ingredients but I feel like this fragrance is mixed between um, your Sauvage Elixir and red tobacco from uh, Mancera the opening is so amazing it's worth the price although it's expensive and usually I don't pay this amount for Hugo Boss but this fragrance is worth it uh, it's good for winter mm, it's good for daily use like in the office, sitting in the office or hanging out with your friends or even in a date the projection is really strong, be careful with the sprays but I like to spray a lot, I don't know why even my friend, like he opened the door and he was far away and he he smelled like the fragrance coming out of the car imagine how strong this is but it's a strong in a nice way so uh, I didn't feel annoyed at all although it was very strong around me but I like the scent so it smells like incense um, tobacco 
patchouli and in the dry down it becomes very sweet I don't know why in the dry down it smells like coca-cola literally <laughs> it smells like sweet and weird fragrance but weird in a nice way if I would rate it I would rate it 9 out of 10 and I would recommend you to buy it although it's expensive but it's worth buying but um, also you have to try it before buying it because you know each person has a different taste so maybe if I liked it um, that doesn't mean like you will like it too so I always advise anyone to try it before buying it especially if it's expensive this one is considered expensive but the fragrance is really nice I feel like the, it's very good in the ingredients like the ingredients are very, the ingredients are very expensive the projection is really good the longevity is good um, the sage is good it gets you compliments it's really good for winter and it's good for all ages it's not like uh, for old men or something so I feel like it's a modern fragrance it's really nice so I'd, I would rate it like 9 out of 10 and probably I will buy it again in the future if this one was empty so this was my honest review for this fragrance I hope you enjoyed the vid this video and please if you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments thanks a lot for watching and have a good day bye bye